All right, guys, back with you here for uh, an alt. Um, I had not looked at this before, so in looking through the uh, the alts that were there that you guys had requested, this seemed kind of interesting. So, I, I you know, basic premise being here, there's a five that comes down here. So if this is A, B, C, we can probably get to a pivot down here that would make sense. Now, what's interesting here is we've got, and this is kind of what I was trying to suggest previously. Now, I'm, I'm in log scale just so you can see it a little bit better. But now I was, and but now now I'm back to linear. So this is what I'm talking about. So at least we have a a, a reasonable setup here of a, of a motive way of off the low. So yeah, it's just an ugly little diagonal, but the 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 structure of it is enough enough to where okay, I can see potential now, particularly with this move. All right, maybe we've got the start of a trend change. Now I'm out here on an eight hour. Oh, let's go, <laughs> excuse me, let's go three. Pop this up here so we can see it a little bit better. All right, so let's just focus on this first, on the proposed potential now for a wave low, for, for a, a bottom here. One, two, three, four, five. It's reasonably technical, right? So this, this goes to the seven, eight, six. Then as we know in a diagonal with the overlap of the one here, we're looking for a pivot at the four that would be something technical relative to the start of the one, pivot of the three, we come right to the 50. Now, we don't get there on this run. It could, could be a front run, could be, it's a function of something internal here. Here's a 50, well, there it is. Okay, so you can see why. So from this pivot here, we come up 50 to the tick, then they go get the, the algo target here, and that's what kicks it off. So that thus, so you can understand why we don't get there, the smaller one pivots and down it goes. So you've got a contender here for a decent one wave here off of that low. Now this, it does look like we have to go WXY here because ABC, ABC, ABC. So you've got to go into the two here. So that coming back here, from the pivot one, what do we do? Golden zone, all right? So this is a, a strong candidate. Well, now, of course, you're very late to it here, but you can, with my point in taking you through the history here, question is always, are we trading technically? Do I have a, a, a solid candidate here for a two? Well, based on that, right, would look pretty good. So if that's, <clears throat> let's get this down here so we can see it all. If this is a one, two into a golden zone, what, what's the next thing we do? Right, hopefully you guys have already done this or know exactly what I'm about to say. All right, so what do we have here? Let's get this in the right. All right, so we have a textbook, perfect, can't make these up. Golden corner pocket, right? So 80%, well, let me get that right on that pivot. Okay, so we know if that pivot holds, right, is always, always the caveat. If that pivot holds 80% probability of making the median line, which we do right as we're running into the algo target. Now we get a little bounce there, but obviously it's got more kick in it. Gets up here and we get, we're pushing the, the 150 of the upper parallel. So there's definitely a, a trend being established here. Now th this, it gets a little more interesting here. So. We, we don't quite make the 1618, but I've got a solid, well, if we look at it here from a swing low to this pivot here, we come up a little shy, right? So we're not quite there, that's deep enough here, but it looks like a, a reasonable candidate here. Here, let me, uh, let's hide this. We'll hide you. All right, so we've got a, a reasonable candidate for the third here. Now this gets a little interesting as we start the retrace. So a couple of things, note this, let's get you out of here. All right, so I'm just wicking up, you know, so it's all, whenever you get a pivot, it's like, well, okay, why is it stopping there? So I always look left and go, is there something there that it could have run into? Well, we've got a couple of things. One, you see this little low volume node here that we get, and I'll just bring that across. You can go, okay, I, that makes sense. What do we do? Right to it. That's where we get the pop, right? So there's no market acceptance there. And note also the Vegas wave, just literally in the lips, right? Right in between the first two. Gets the bounce, but it, what's more interesting is we, we are spared the overlap of the one, given how deep that retracement is. We don't overlap the one, so we maintain the impulse with the four here, right? As soon now, of course, this could we could pop here and then roll over again, and that would, the count would fall apart. Although we could, hmm, you could have a diagonal, but you'd rather not see that. So let's get this out of here since we can establish we have a candidate here for the four. Oh, let's put these in yellow so we just don't lose track of 
where we are. So WXY into the two, perfect golden corner, up for the three, ABC clears the bell, can't miss that. Down for the C, we maintain the one, the structure holds it, Vegas wave is there, reaction. Now, is that enough? Well, it's a start on it. So there's, there's certainly a trade here. So let's see, we're three hours, let's go to the one hour. Mm. Yeah, you can probably dig it out there. I mean, it, it would be a, well, so your danger here is that you're, you're, you're incomplete, right? So we're one, two, I'll have to check that, see if, see if we got enough distance there to make that work. So maybe, maybe let's go down a degree here or two, go to, uh, uh, we'll just go back to white. Okay, so is that far enough? Let's just take a look here. So if that's the one, two, yeah, that could work. So we could go one, two, three. So we're in the in the one, two, seven, two, one, three, eight. All right. So we note what we do down here to the tick, to the tick, two, six, one, eight. Right, the length of that little pivot. Interesting. So that's it's still a contender for the third if this is if if this is going to fall over here but then the count is falling apart. So the trade that's here is off of the idea that that's your one of the next degree. So putting putting that in context, you'd be working off of the 1 2 3 4 5, right? Which is likely not well, I suppose it could be you'd be going into a double top here for the 5. But the trade is there. So you're in the buy zone right now. Right, between the 50 and the 618. So there's a low risk trade sitting right here. Yeah. Back to the 50 on the RSI. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're not expecting the, the, the Elliott oscillator to get to zero here necessarily. So yeah, I mean, I think it's very, very tradable, right? It's a very low risk reward. I mean, or pardon me, very low risk with a, with a very decent reward here. So if we're looking at a long here, we're just buying in this zone here. We got a wave three target. Now up to the individual is how much risk. So even if you use the 786 here, because we know a two could go down that deep. Five to one. But not bad right here. And then you've got all of this, this congestion here, all of this structure that's all over here, right? So you've got a baseline of potentially some support here, right? It doesn't, it doesn't guarantee that it holds, but you can you can kind of put the trade together and go, all right, I can see how this makes sense. All right? If if it's going to hold, now if this if we start to sell out, if we take out this pivot, then the whole count falls apart. So you certainly don't want to be putting your stop under this. So I think mm, you know, perhaps 707 to give it a little give it a little more room. And so you're not giving it a whole lot there. So what that does, though, it's going to improve your risk reward. So there's a little more than six to one if if you get the good three here. Now, additionally, here we can, let's see here. Now, let's go back to that three hour. You got a few things to work with here. Well, you've already had the corner pocket. I might just be kind of looking, eyeballing. Oh, Some of all, all of this here looks like a, a baseline. So we, we there, if it starts to break, this is this would get relabeled, right? This so the the downtrend would just continue. We'd be into an ABC here. If this starts to break down, if we break down this this structure here, we're likely headed to this, right? So it's more corrective, and then you'd be you know think, expecting something lower. You certainly had you certainly there was certainly a decent entry here as we as we broke through some of this, right? So here's well, you could do it this way, so. Here's the little break back to retest and then straight up. And we're just we're coming back into so again it's kind of the same idea. You know what's what's going on up here? Why why do we stop there? You know some of, some of the structure here is hard. It's hard to know right if you don't see something that just just, just jumps at, out at you. Just kind of putting that in context here to get a. Training view. Oh, it's just it's annoying sometimes. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, you got that's about all you got to work with here is you just you pumped in ran into some of this structure here. Yeah, we're through here, but there clearly there's there's a baseline here. Jesus, that really see this is the the thing you know you gotta worry about with these kind of Alts, right, as you, everybody just saw with Matic, right? These pump dumps, right? When I see this, right, that makes me, 
you know, it's market manipulation, right? So they pump it, dump it, pump it, dump it, pump it. I mean, it's just all over the place. So I, I like this a little bit better because we're not seeing that same sort of wicking pump dump action here that's so pervasive in crypto. I mean, look at these, right? I mean, that when I see this kind of action, it doesn't make me want to dive in. But this looks a little bit more solid here. Yeah, let's go back to that one hour. Because of the structure, and technically it's trading, it's trading a bit better, how about we say it that way, without, the, without those giant spikes. Yeah, I mean, this, this is pretty much of a, just a straight rip up. And you can see as it, as, it, as it comes back down, do you see what happens there? You, you've got this little base, base here, but there's absolutely no support here. So once it starts to go down, there's nothing to hold it, right? Just down we come and it just runs into that, into that structure here. But it's, it is interesting that we don't overlap here. So now, are you going to go balls deep here? No. But there's a, there's a nice little swing trade there. Well, what's wrong with a six to one, right? The risk reward is, is what makes it attractive. And the fact that this is better looking structure and not so pump and dumpish. But you know, I also you could draw this up here. You know, you wouldn't want to see so maximum you'd give is the seven eight six here because you wouldn't want to see it break this trend line off of this pivot. If we if we if we do cut, start to come down here, if we break that bad sign for bulls, right? Then you're then you're revisiting the count again, and then this starts to look more like a five. So you'd be anticipating, oh, at that point, well maybe we're just starting an A B C of some larger degree. Remains to be seen, but I think there's a good little little pop there. There's a good potential trade there with, with reasonable risk reward. That's pretty much what you've got there. All right, so an interesting. If you're not familiar with the project, this is always a good place to go over. I don't know. I'm assuming it's Kyber Network, not Cyber, but nice, right? Number 63 on their scale, strong buy here. It's good on their algo rating. Interesting project. Worth, worth, worth keeping an eye on. I'd never looked at it before. Never heard of it before. So, yeah, one for the radar. Okay, guys, there you go.